Hi everybody and welcome to the Great Correction Series. And this is episode three and it's entitled Fear. Ooh, what a word that is, fear. Boy, the mind can really go crazy when you talk about things that we're fearful of. Well, let me disclose this to you. Maybe I was fearful about actually doing this video. But you see, you can push yourself through it, just like I did. I'm actually doing the video. So now that I'm doing it, I'm not so fearful. I'm actually becoming fearless. And you could do the same thing. You see, fear is the great umbrella that hangs over us and suffocates everything else in our life. If you allow fear to control your life, you're not living life. Think about this. Let me break it down for you because 99.5% of the things that we fear never come to fruition. They never happen. But you spend all that time and all that energy fearing what's next. You know, from a biological standpoint, fear paralyzes you. It's the great paralyzer. It also paralyzes your immune system. And you don't function as well. You don't think as well. You don't make decisions. You don't make ch choices. Whether they're good or bad, you just don't make them. You kind of hide under the desk of your imagination about what might happen if. What might happen tomorrow or next week or six months from now. When we do that, we're not living in the moment. We're trading off the moment, the joy of now, <laughs> being fearful of tomorrow. And the things we're fearful of tomorrow, like I said, probably will never happen. Think about a car. The first time you got into a car, what happened? You were fearful, weren't you? I mean, you didn't know, do I step on this pedal? Do I step on that pedal? Do I turn the wheel? Do I do this? Do I do that? But as you did it more and more every single day, your fear seemed to go away. So right there is an example of how something that made you very fearful from the get-go now is just a routine action that you take. You get in your car, you drive to the supermarket, you drive to work, you drive home, you don't even think about it. But yet, that vehicle is 20,000 pounds, it goes pretty fast, and an accident could devastate you. But you don't live in a state of fear while you're getting in your car and driving it or driving home. You know, I'm afraid of heights, so I fear heights. But I noticed something about myself. When there's an emergency, my fear goes away because our brain becomes very streamlined, very, very streamlined, and it focuses on one objective, getting through that moment. There's no time for fear. Now, in a storm, let's say, in a big snowstorm, and there was a lot of snow on the roof, and I'm looking up at this roof and saying, gee whiz, if I don't get up there right now and get that snow off it, this roof could collapse. Well, the function of getting something done overrode the fear that I had of heights. Boy, I'd jump up on that ladder, I'd climb it, I'd get up to the roof, I'd clean that roof off, and I'd get down off the roof. But if it was a sunshiny day and you asked me to go up on the roof and do something, I'd be petrified. That's the game that fear plays with us. Things that aren't really fearful make us fear when we're not in an emergency situation. You'd be amazed at what you could do when you allow your brain to expand and streamline itself. So fear is not something that you need to reside in or live in. Remember, you're in control. And the more you do certain things, the less fearful they become. Anything new can be fearful. But once you do it over and over and over again, all of a sudden, it's just like a routine thing that you do each day. But if you allow fear 
to be the umbrella over you every single day. Your relationships are gonna suffer. Your jobs are gonna suffer. Your monetary gain is gonna suffer. Almost everything in your life is gonna suffer. And most of all, your health is going to suffer greatly. So you don't want to put yourself in a position anymore where you are fearful. I want you to become fearless. Be that warrior, push through it. Know that there's nothing to fear except your own imagination. And don't let that run away from you. You can be watching TV, especially now in these times of crisis, and you hear the mantra of fear, fear, fear. They're just putting the fear in you. But what are they really doing? You gotta wake up to this. You see, media, TV, or any media for that matter, needs what's called Nielsen ratings. So the more people that are watching, the higher the Nielsen rating, and then that means that they can charge more for advertising. <laughs> it's that simple. So if they keep you in this constant state of fear, those talking heads, they know that their advertisers are gonna be happy that you're sitting there and you're in such fear. And just take a look at the commercials that they show you while they're promoting this fear. Think about that. They're programming you. So it's time for you to unprogram yourself Realize that there's nothing to fear at all. It's only about doing things and doing them enough to where you're no longer fearful. Think about anything, even with that little bicycle that you had when you were a kid, the first time you got on it, why do you think they make training wheels? Because you're fearful. And when you're fearful, what happens? You tighten up. You constrict yourself. Now, when you're tightening up and you're constricting yourself, think about what that does to your immune system. You're destroying it. And then you ride the bike for quite some time, whatever amount of time, each individual is different. And then all of a sudden they take the training wheels off. Or maybe sometimes you beg them to take the training wheels off because you're ready to fly. So think about that little bicycle and taking those training wheels off. It's about time for you to take those training wheels off, stand up straight and say, you know what? I don't fear anything because I know that I'm in control of my life and I know that I'm gonna enjoy this moment. So don't worry about tomorrow, the next day, or the next day, or next year. Enjoy today because this is really what you have. And if you were to die tomorrow, ask yourself before you die, ask yourself today, what did you do today to enjoy this life that you have? It's a blessing. What did you do yesterday or last week or last year. So bring yourself up to speed. Don't be fearful. Become a fearless warrior. Take on the world. You're here, you're in it, you're part of it, and you control what you do and your destiny. So, are we all gonna be fearless now? I'd like to know what you're fearful of. And I'd like to see what you're gonna conquer when it comes to that fear. Some people fear rejection. Don't worry about that. Don't fear anything. Take it as it comes, process it as it comes, and do away with it as it comes. You have a brain, you have a conscience, you have a gut that tells you what's right or wrong. So you're in good hands with yourself. Don't listen to the others. Don't let the fear mongers take control of your life. Just wash your hands right now. Wear your mask if you go out. Keep your social distance. But for goodness sake, enjoy your life as much as you can no matter what the circumstances are. And don't be fearful. Well, this is Rick Nappy saying thank you for joining me with The Great Correction, Episode 3, Fear. And I hope you join me on the next episode, Episode 4, which is going to be anger. How do we handle anger? And what does that actually mean? All right, until then, Rick Nappy saying, stay healthy and become a fearless warrior.